Hi, I'm Steve from Nearly Wild and Nearly Wild Camping and um, today we're going to just show you a few of the tents that we've used over the years. We've done a lot of travelling around the world and a lot of the time we're either carrying our tent or trying to carry as little as we can within the car um, because we're usually carrying bicycles and canoes and goodness knows what else as well. So we don't tend to use lots of big tents, um, we've tended towards combinations of small tents. Because much of our camping has been with a family um, and in similar conditions to a lot of the conditions that people go nearly wild camping, um, we thought it might be helpful to you if we just showed you some of the types of tents that we found really work for us. We're not going to go into lots of detail about, it, detail about each, each individual tent or each individual make. There's endless videos on the YouTube internet and the internet about that. We're going to focus on the types of tents that work really well with a family who doesn't want to carry loads of kit, but wants to get a good combination that works for everyone. Come and have a look. So we thought we'd start with one person tents. We've actually got two one person tents. This one, which is a lot of fun. It's really designed for not having to carry it too far. It's got a reasonable amount of weight. It's got a lovely um, cushioned base but it is really good if you're out doing things like bushcraft, playing in the woods. You want something a little bit stronger, a little bit more versatile and very, very comfortable. And having this little roof that comes off is fantastic for watching the stars. So highly recommend tents like this, but very definitely not when you're carrying them very far. So this tent's a um, much lighter weight version, single person, single hooped bivy. Um, it's just a single skin, um, so it's waterproof and breathable. These are really good if you're getting into more serious walking um, out on your own. Uh, I've used this up on the ice, on the glacier, on the high mountain when you're out climbing, um, as well as lower down in the woods. They're not as strong as the one I was in before. Um, they're not really designed for um, sharp objects um, being in, in woodland settings for longer periods but for overnight up in the hills these are absolutely fantastic and a word of warning with both of these style of tents don't go cheap you get what you pay for with this kit and um, it really isn't worth trying to get cheap and cheerful because it won't last So this one's a bit of an old tried and tested classic, the uh, dome tent. These are great. You can get them for a reasonable price. Um, they're very simple. We've had them up in some pretty serious weather conditions um, out on farms, but also actually up on the hill. Um, they're a bit heavier, so you're not usually carrying them far from the car, um, particularly the cheaper ones. Um, unless there's two of you then obviously you can split the weight or obviously if there's more of you even better um, but I think if you're looking for a cheap and cheerful basic entry level tent for the family these are fantastic and what we used to do when the kids were little is we had two of these um, initially one adult one child in each one and then after a little while the kids had their own tent and we had our own plenty of room for people to get changed and yeah we could easily spend a week in these quite comfortably together so I highly recommend these small domes for um, family camping and using combinations of them rather than buying huge big tents. It also gives everybody their own space and their own privacy. So to be honest, this tent was a bit of a surprise for us. Um, we had the two um, dome tents that I showed you. But we were going away on a family holiday and we wanted something a bit bigger that we could sit in and eat in if the weather was bad. This tent just has proved to be absolutely brilliant. Um, it's got a big interior area. It's very well fitted out. Two sleeping pods um, and all sorts of very clever features. It's not the easiest tent um, if you're not used to putting tents up and down, particularly ones that have an unusual shape because this one actually is a pop-up. Um, and it's quite difficult to put down if you're not used to it and strong enough but as a design a quick and simple good family tent 
really recommend this type of design central porch two sleeping pods and what we did if we were with the car which we always we were with this or we were with the boat um, then we would take one or two domes or small one person or two person tents so if people didn't want to live in the big tent together they could have their own privacy or be out on other parts of the camping location but I highly recommend these for family camping longer periods bit of space but without everybody in some huge tent um, so that you've got your individual ones giving you a bit more privacy as well Well, not all tents are worth the money. There's a lot of cheap and cheerful out there at the moment. You see them all over festival sites after the festival's over. Broken poles is pretty common. This tent, we've only put it up three times. Each time it's been up, within the space of a few hours, one of the poles is broken. The pole is then ripped through the fabric. Um, I wouldn't want to trust this in rain or heavy wind. It's completely useless. Okay, you got it cheap. You thought you were only going to use it for a week. Half of them won't even last the week. And what's the point in buying a tent that's so rubbish? You're just, that's just creating waste um, on a planet where we're already using too many resources. That's hardly acceptable. And obviously, if you're involved in nearly wild camping, I would imagine that you're expecting to use your tents for rather than longer than a week and put them up rather more than once. So um, I really wouldn't recommend going for cheap and cheerful. Uh, spending a little bit more um, is worth the money. And definitely, if you're going to be doing a lot of camping, it's worth putting a little bit of extra finance in and making sure you're getting something that's going to both last and do what you need it to do. Rubbish. Okay, this one's a bit of fun, really. Um, we bought them at a show for, for uh, enjoyment and just to see how good they were. They're great for kids in the summer. Um, they're very easy. It literally just pops up into a bed with a tent on top. But it's really a fair weather tent. It's waterproof, but it's so waterproof that if you sleep inside it, um, you get really bad condensation unless you've actually vented it. So I wouldn't want to use it in the cold. We have actually also used these when we've been out with our camp with our van, and um, we've wanted to camp nearby on the hard standing. You just take these out of the van, put them up beside, sleep overnight, pack them up quick in the morning. They literally fold up straight back into the van. Very quick and simple, a bit of fun, um, and, and great for kids to have a bit of enjoyment camping out on their own as well. Okay, so we're now just going to show you three smaller backpacking tents. Um, the reason being that, like I said, we've found that using multiples of smaller tents works really, really well. You can then all eat under a tarp or have around, um, around under a tarp with a campfire, or you can use like the bigger tent I showed you with the porch. The only other tent that we haven't got here that I think works really well with the family is a bigger version of a tent that has a sleeping area at the back and a porch area at the front. Um, those work really well with small, with young family as well. Um, but we found that combinations of the of the smaller tents with some sort of a tarp was our definite prefer preferred because we could both carry it. We could also use some form of combination for car camping. This one here is a two person. It's a pretty classic design. It's a tunnel tent, two hoops, stretch fabric between, plenty of room. These stand up in quite a lot of wind. Great on the mountain, equally great fun down on the campsite, uh, camp location, um, plenty of porch space for storing your kit. I think these are really good little tents. This one isn't uh, one of the more expensive, it's only just over £100, which sounds a lot of money, but for this type of tent, that's um, really quite reasonable if you're getting something that's nice and light for carrying. I think you can also use these very happily with um, a couple of adults and a young child but obviously fairly quickly you'll outgrow the space. So this one's similar to the tunnel tent in that it's built for backpacking and um, lightweight camping. Got a porch not quite as big but what's slightly different in this is the design of the hoops. That's made so it can actually stand really quite strong winds so these tents are great. Um, 
costs a little bit more but you're getting a much more wind firm tent so you're really now getting into how much you want your tent to do more serious mountain stuff and how much you're just going to be using it for um, lower camp locations or summer use uh, but if you're getting more serious this style of tent um, is is well proven for a good strong windproof tent so this one is the final one we're going to show you today um, this is actually a lightweight tent it's designed for two people it's very comfortable it's actually got about the same floor space as both the tunnel tent um, the one I've just shown you with the unusual back on it and actually the dome tent as well but this weighs very little indeed um, it's a very very good tent for backpacking the only difficulty is as the lighter you go often you have to make compromises so this isn't as wind firm as the last tent I showed you and actually if you're in high winds it does tend to collapse in at the back because of its unusual design um, but to be honest it's not a problem and I've been out in both strong winds and severe wet rain in this tent um, on the high mountain this is really going beyond what you need on most nearly wild camping locations unless you're going into the fours and fives in some of the wilder places um, however if you're going to be using a tent for both backpacking and family use it may be worth considering something like this um, but obviously the more you go into a technical tent the more specialized they become so generally speaking apart from the rubbish tent that we showed you that, that was very poor quality um, and was actually bought for other purposes as a trial um, and the fun one which I probably wouldn't use the, the, the camp bed one um, very often but a great little fun tent for family or if you're using it from the van the other tents we've used a lot um, they've seen a lot of miles both carried and in the mountain um, apart from obviously the very big one which has been used mainly with a car or with um, with the canoe um, but even that isn't too heavy you can certainly carry it on the back on your back very comfortably um, and we find as I say combine your tents use a tarp if you want somewhere for shelter and you'll get much better value and a much better camping experience than you will by carrying huge tents that you have to have a big car boot and are difficult enough just to carry from the car to the camp location and as you know in many of the nearly wild camping locations they'll be too big and heavy or they won't work so thank you very much we hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it useful more information at the, obviously at the bottom and please do get in touch with any queries you've got about different tent designs and types and we'll do what we can to help we're not going into the individual tent types and and the um, actual technical side um, you can find plenty of youtube videos on that we're really just trying to help you make the choice as to which type of tent is best for you and your family enjoy your camping